In this video, we will tell you about ancient human giants whose size reached up to 5 meters. We begin our story with the clarification that the scientific world is silent about this information to this day. However, the story we are about to tell you does not fit into the foundations of the world that history books have been describing to us since childhood. But what do the archaeological finds show? We have heard ancient legends that tell that a race of giants, or giants, lived on Earth. In recent times, more and more burial sites or remains of giant people have been discovered. These remains are excavated all over the world, both on land and underwater in seas and oceans. Another confirmation of this is the finds in Yakutia. A group of independent researchers have been working for many years on the discovery of giant remains and have built a clear vision of what actually happened on our planet 12 to 20,000 years ago. Yet in cosmic time, it was only a moment ago. The growth of giants throughout their existence as a race has varied from 4, 13 feet to 12, 39 feet meters. In addition to great physical strength, they were also distinguished by phenomenal mental abilities. And speaking of credibility, why should the existence of the giants be any less possible than the version of the lost civilization of Atlanteans? Isn't this also the mysterious civilization of Atlanteans, which some consider mythical, while others believe they existed, then disappeared as a species? Japanese scientists have already discovered the remains of a civilization similar to Atlantis at the bottom of the ocean. A detailed video about Atlantis and the latest discoveries surrounding this mystery expect it soon on our channel. But back to the giants. Researchers suggest that it was the civilization of giants that built the pyramids not only in Egypt, but throughout the globe. The total number of pyramids erected by them is more than 600. The construction was carried out in a strictly defined geometric sequence. It is believed that the purpose of the pyramids was related to cosmic energy, the use of which is still incomprehensible to us. Later, another civilization of people, the Egyptians, began to use the pyramids and worship their gods. The Egyptians, for their part, built similar tombs for their pharaohs. Thus, the Egyptians themselves were not the primary architects of the pyramids. In fact, the pyramids remain as evidence that a race of giants lived on Earth in ancient times. You can find a detailed video on how the Pyramid of Cheops, which is one of the seven wonders of the world, was created on our channel. We dug deeper and found many documents from various sources with information about the race of giants. Here are some facts from just a few of them. 1. In 1899, miners in the Ruhr region of Germany have found fossilized human skeletons 210, 68 feet to 240, 79 feet, centimeters tall. 2. Around 1979, near Megalong Wiesli in the Blue Mountains, local residents found a huge stone protruding above the surface of the stream, on which the imprint of part of a huge five-toed foot could be seen. The size of the print is 60 centimeters, 1 feet 12 in, long. Scientists calculated the approximate height of the creature that left the footprint and found that it was about 6 meters, 19 feet 8 in, tall, which is more than three times the height of a modern human. 3. The Arab traveler Ibn Fadlan, who lived more than a thousand years ago, saw a 6 meter, 19 feet 8 in, human skeleton that was shown to him by the subjects of the Khazar king. A skeleton of the same dimensions was seen by the Russian classic writers Turgenev and Korolenko when they were in Switzerland. In the museum in the city of Lucerne, they are told that these huge bones were discovered in 1577 under the guidance of the famous anatomist Dr. Felix Plater of Basel. They found that these were the remains of a 5 meters and 80 centimeters, 19 feet, tall man. 4. Ivan Sanderson, a world-famous zoologist, shares a curious story from a letter he received from one Alan McShear. The author of the letter sent in 1950 was working as a bulldozer driver on the construction of a road in Alaska and reported that the workers had discovered two huge fossilized skulls and bones in one of the mounds. The skulls measured 58 centimeters, 1 feet 11 in high, and 30 centimeters, 12 in wide. Ancient giants had two rows of teeth and disproportionately flat heads. The bones, as well as the skulls, were three times the size of modern humans. The length of the dibia varied from 150, 4 feet 11 in, to 180 centimeters, 5 feet 11 in. 5. 
Obvious proof of the existence of a race of giants is the footprints of huge feet. The most famous one was found in South Africa. It was found by a local farmer Stoffel Coetzee at the beginning of the last century. The left impression is sealed in a nearly vertical scale and is about 12 centimeters, 5 in, deep. Its length is 128 centimeters, 4 feet 2 in, and its width is 60 centimeters, 1 feet 12 in. The footprint is so clear that it is as if a giant had stepped on soft clay, which then hardened under the influence of the sun. At the same time, the trace is left in granite rock, and on the Velt Plateau clay is not found at all. 6. In 1950, a fragment of a huge skull, 45 centimeters, 1 feet 6 in high, was found in diamond mines in South Africa. Above the edges of the eyebrows were two strange protrusions that looked like small horns. Anthropologists, in whose hands the find falls, determine the age of the skull at about 9 million years. 7. On one of the tablets in ancient Babylon, it is written that the priests of the Babylonian state received all astronomical knowledge from the giants who lived in South Asia over 4 meters, 13 feet 1 in, tall. 8. In South Africa, on the Okavango River, the Aborigines tell of giants who lived in the past on these lands. One of the legends tells that the giants were endowed with incredible strength. With one hand, they stopped the flow of rivers. Their voices were so loud that they could be heard from one village to another. When one of the giants coughed, the birds were blown away as if by the wind. When hunting, they cover hundreds of kilometers in a day, and the killed elephants and hippopotamuses are easily thrown on their shoulders and carried home. Their weapons were bows made from the trunks of palm trees, and the earth gave way under the weight of their feet. 9. An Inca legend says that men of enormous stature arrived from the ocean on huge reed rafts. Even the tallest Indian barely reached their knees. The hair of the giants fell to their shoulders, and their faces were bare. Some of them wore animal skins, others were completely naked. Moving along the coast, they ravaged the country. Each of them ate more at one time than 50 people could eat. And most likely now you are starting to ask yourself more than ever. But how could such giants exist, and why did they disappear? Scientists have different versions of the possibility that a race of giants existed on our planet. One hypothesis is that the gravity of the Earth in those days was completely different, as well as the atmospheric pressure. In such physical conditions, giant men could live and function normally. The death of the giants may have been caused by a global catastrophe as a result of a large-scale disaster, for example, or climate changes, such as we see in modern human history. Optimal genetic development, this is when everything in the body's DNA has fully developed due to favorable external conditions. According to this version, the ozone layer was much thicker before the flood, and then only one-seventh of it remained. The depletion of the ozone layer leads to a weakening of protection from solar radiation, which affects both plants and animals and naturally humans. The giants could not adapt and died from the higher radiation levels. Here we come to the logical questions. Okay, with so many finds found, why are the giant bones of this race not on display in any museum in the world? Why is there no official information about them? Why isn't the media talking about them? Those familiar with the matter claim that there is an active destruction of material evidence of their existence on the planet all over the world. In the USA, in the state of Nevada, the skeletons of giants were exhibited in a museum for a long time, and the local Indians took everyone who was interested to the cemeteries of the giants. But suddenly, the local authorities unexpectedly collected and destroyed the unique skeletons. This fact was later confirmed under oath by them in court. In Russia, tribes of giants lived in the region of Karelia and Transbaikalia on the border with China. This is proven by archaeological finds of giant bones. The only answer we have found on the subject from some scientists as to why these findings are being hidden is that it is being done on purpose. Unique discoveries confirming the existence of a race of giants on Earth would destroy Darwin's theory of evolution. People will have to change their views on the entire history of mankind and its appearance on Earth. For the scientific world, such a turn is obviously not desirable. But there are things that cannot be hidden, cannot be erased. And that's the story. History, which even before writing as we know it today, was passed on from word of mouth, was painted in caves, on rocks, or on tablets. 
If such giants existed, there is no way they could not have found their way into some ancient history sealed in time. Let's take a look at some of the oldest stories. There is hardly a better place to begin our inquiry back in time than the Bible itself. The most famous of the giants described in the Bible is the warrior Goliath of Geth. The book of Samuel says that Goliath was defeated by the shepherd David, who later became king of Israel. Goliath, according to the biblical description, was more than six cubits tall, that is about three meters, nine feet ten in. His military equipment weighed about 420 kilograms, 926 pounds, and the mass of his metal spear reached 50 kilograms, 110 pounds. Among the people, there are many stories of giants who were feared by rulers and leaders. Greek mythology tells of Enceladus, a giant who fought with Zeus. It was struck by lightning and covered by the Etna volcano. In the 14th century, in Trapani, Sicily, the skeleton of the alleged Polyphemus was discovered. The one-eyed Cyclops was 9 meters, 29 feet 6 in, tall. The Delaware Indians say that in the old days east of the Mississippi, there were gigantic people called the Lakes, who would not allow them to pass through their lands. The Indians subsequently declared war on them, and eventually the giants were forced to leave the area. The Sioux Indians have a similar legend. In Minnesota, where they lived, a race of giants appeared who, according to legend, destroyed them. Their bones are probably still buried in those lands. To this day, the number of finds is increasing over time. They are excavated in various countries around the world. But the most intriguing question, where did giant people come from, remains unanswered. Looking for information on the subject, we came across a very fascinating version about the origin of the giants. The French writer Denis Sora formulated the following version, pondering the question of what might happen if some other celestial body began to approach Earth. He concluded that the effect of such an event would be a sharp increase in the gravity of our planet. The tides will be stronger, which means there will be flooding. Another consequence of this would be a gigantism of plants, animals, and humans. Humans would reach a height of 5 meters, 16 feet 5 in. According to this theory, living organisms will increase in size as radiation increases. Increasing radiation, including cosmic radiation, is likely to have two effects, causing mutations and damaging or transforming tissues, he shared. While preparing the material for this video, we came across a very interesting story corresponding to what Dennis Sora said. Unfortunately, the story was only half confirmed. It all started with what happened in 1902 on the island of Martinique, where the volcanic Mount Pele erupted, killing over 30,000 people in St. Pierre. Just before the volcano erupted, purple clouds of dense gas and water vapor formed over its crater. It grows to unprecedented proportions and covers the entire island, whose inhabitants still suspect nothing of the threat. Suddenly, the top of the mountain opened, and a thick black cloud shot out in a horizontal direction. The second black cloud shot up, accompanied by a 400-meter, 131 feet 3 in pillar of fire, forming a giant mushroom and obscuring the sun for a radius of 80 kilometers, 50 miles. It was later estimated that the initial velocity of both clouds was over 670 kilometers per hour, 416 miles per h. The horizontal pyroclastic wave enveloped the ground and headed for St. Pierre. Its temperature was estimated to have been over 1,075 degrees Celsius, 1,967 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was composed of steam, volcanic gases, and dust. In less than a minute it reaches and covers the entire city, instantly igniting everything it touches. A rain of mud and ash ensues, and the city's communications are cut off. All but two of the inhabitants of St. Pierre Parish, one who is in a prison cell protected by thick walls, and a cobbler who lived on the very edge of town. The devastating eruption has been declared the greatest volcanic disaster of the 20th century. Such an event really happened, and we found dozens of confirmations of it. We found no evidence for the rest of the story. If you know or have more information about what we are about to tell, we will be happy to share in the comments below the video. After the eruption of the volcano, something very strange happened. Biological life on the island began to revive much faster than expected. The plants are starting to grow again, but now they are all much bigger. Dogs, cats, turtles, lizards and insects are also larger. 
and each successive generation is larger than the previous one. The French authorities set up a scientific research station there, and soon discovered that the mutations in the animals and plants were the result of the radiation of minerals released at the time of the volcano's eruption. This radiation also affects humans. The head of the research center, Dr. Jules Gravio, grew by 12.5 centimeters, 5 in, and his assistant, Dr. Powen, by 10 centimeters, 4 in. Rain plants have been found to grow three times faster and in six months reach a level of development that under normal conditions takes two years. The copa lizard, which previously reached 20 centimeters, 8 in, in length, becomes something like a small dragon 50 centimeters, 1 feet 8 in, long, and its bite, which was previously harmless, becomes more dangerous than a poisonous cobra. The strange phenomenon of abnormal enlargement disappears when these plants and animals are transported from Martinique. On the island itself, radiation peaked within six months of the explosion, and then its intensity slowly began to return to normal levels. And even if this theory is not proven, is it still possible that something similar, perhaps even on a larger scale, happened in the past? Increased doses of radiation can contribute to the formation of abnormally large organisms or mutations. This idea finds some support in the fact that huge animals existed on Earth long after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Write your opinion in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with friends.